Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Dave Golkov, and today we're going to be covering that NHL game between the New York Rangers and the Philadelphia Flyers. How are you doing today, Dave? I'm doing good. All righty, my man. So it looks like the Flyers have been struggling lately as they've lost six of their last seven games. But why is it that Philly's playing so poorly lately, man? Uh, pretty much their offense has gone cold. This is a team that's built around scoring goals, lighting the lamp, and uh, right now they're just not doing a whole lot of that. Uh, scored something like, what is it, eight goals in their last five games. That really just doesn't cut it. Actually, four of those goals came against the Columbus Blue Jackets in their lone win in that stretch. So they're pretty much not scoring goals right now. And we all know this Flyers team, you know, we know the tale of the tape with them. They outscore opponents, they win. Uh, they have weak defense. Uh, they have weak goaltending, so really everything is uh, surrounded by, or everything stems from that offense. Right now, it's not working. That's why they're losing a bunch of games. All right, that clarifies a lot. Now, but this could be a favorable matchup for the Rangers, considering that you just mentioned the Flyers have a poor defense. Um, the problem is that New York doesn't play very well on, when they're on the road. So what do you expect to see from uh, them, particularly in this matchup, man? So yeah, it does look like a good spot for the Rangers before you realize that this team does not play very good on the road. They've dropped five of seven road games this year, and they really have not succeeded away from home. Remember, this is one of the best road teams in the NHL last year. One of the main culprits for this failure is the goaltending, is the Rangers are allowing 3.43 goals per game on the road. That's among the worst in the NHL, and that figures to play in well uh, with the Flyers, whose offense actually plays well at home. All right, man. Now, considering the fact that we don't currently have any lines available for this matchup, um, should we actually be betting on a total maybe, or should we look at, at some other team? I mean, uh, should we be looking at uh, the Flyers in this case? Uh, yeah, I do like the Flyers. I mean, yeah, you're right. This, there's no line up on this as of yet. We should let everybody know we do these early in the day. This is a Friday early afternoon game. Starts at 1, but uh, I'm leaning with the Flyers in this game. Obviously, don't have a number, but I'm guessing around minus 140, maybe, maybe minus 135 because the Flyers have been struggling, but I think the Flyers are worth the play here. You have to take a look at the home and away splits uh, for this team. Flyers score nearly a goal and a half more per game at home than they do on the road. They're top 10 uh, in scoring at home. They're bottom 10 in road scoring. So really big difference for them. Same goes with goaltending. Uh, they're, you know, they're significantly better at home. Not great still, but better uh, than they are at the on the road. On top of that, you add in the Rangers, who are not a good road team. Um, you know, they have to travel to Philadelphia in this spot. Their goaltending has been pretty weak on the road. As mentioned, the 343 goals against average. They just uh, allowed four goals to Tampa Bay in their latest contest. I think uh, the Flyers, they have been struggling recently, but some home cooking and some rest on Thursday will allow them to regroup. And on Friday, they're back at home where they're comfortable. And I think they get the win here. All right, good stuff, man. Dave, thanks once again for all the valuable insights, and I look forward to talking some more hockey tomorrow, man. Sounds good. I'll talk to you, Dax. All right, take care, brother. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.